brother extraordinaire over here. And I'm really happy to read in the wake of both Brandy and Karen. Um, and now I don't have to waste any time setting up the poem, because it's been set up. But um, there is one epigraph to the poem from Works and Days by Hesiod, which I'll read. Because it's an example of completely unfollowable and unnecessary advice. I know that you all know about farming techniques. That's why I wrote about this other set of um, advices. <laughs> anyway, here's the, here's the epigraph. There is another time for men to sail in the spring. As soon as the size of the crow's footprint is matched by the aspect of the leaves on the end of the fig branch, then the sea is suitable for embarkation. <laughs> you see it. All songs at once. Isn't this like balancing the needs of friends? He who emits a voice must think about those streams already running. The middle of the month especially, its pallets and sleds, false Sundays convened with morning coffee pride spreading out as powers felt in turning on the background sounds. The month lies further divided into weeks which will have a habit of encroaching, and what was all dark circles of potential in the hand or a nearly transparent green floating just outside the obvious soon falls back to familiar hours designed for a desert capital where to wander unaccosted has become a form of genius. And the fragrance curling around the casement window is forgotten appointments with fallow surfaces in a room so small or consistent it has the demeanor of distance. Those glints far off are steadying instances of everything's arc, while flashes near at hand present alarms you tirelessly survive by noting almost immediately they can be discounted. Just that much more web texture, yellow, of the green lime leaves going away like a process. Self-interested exchanges, robberies on holiday, the best that can be said is they devolve like blasted tones from generations on the wane. They have good tumble and fade, a currency you run the risk of being taken for. So when the jacaranda starts dropping flowers underneath the helicopter and everything says it all, give them back their money utterly. But morning again, funny this, should happen now. And shoddy elevations failing in all directions but the one that matters, day trading up from infinitive to imperative, isn't that a history of breakfast told to amoral wrens, the inability to move to larger quarters while the givens hold their ground? Typically, the last few days of the month respond in the affirmative, Exhausted yellow is ready for the next. Make no appointments at this time. When hate is liable to come for you in the guise of free chairs left out on the street, use these mornings like they are communicating rooms calls come from. Sometimes your mother, sometimes your stepmother. And be mindful of unofficial anniversaries in the leaves of the sickly apricot. From the 27th, to the 28th, rest in embarrassing determinations. Dressed before you leave the house, give no credence to initial thoughts that round things love form more than angled ones. Wait, mindless as an <coughs> herb. Leave your kitchen the dome of performances, carrying out no advice specific enough to help you. Fear all wheeled cars, indifferent when near, a gloss stream where the sidewalk falters. Their speed would seem to indicate you don't exist, unless your job's to tear old sheets all day 